Under to them, this video is for you. Thanks for your advice on my last commentary. Well, here we are one more time with the MP40. The gun you either love or love to hate. Seriously, what were they thinking when they set the damage and accuracy levels for this thing? What other submachine gun can you use to take out a sniper across a big map like Cliffside or Roundhouse? If you pair it up with stopping power, you're looking at a gun that'll give you a two-shot kill with very little recoil. On any of the small or medium-sized maps, I'd guess that more than half the players at any given time are running around with an MP40. This is one of the reasons people love to call this thing a noob gun. You've just got so many people running around playing with it. A beginner using this gun can do reasonably well. Uh, the real problem you run into is if you're playing with somebody good and they're using the MP40, uh, they can be really hard to beat. In this game you can see I start out using the suppressor. The obvious advantage of the suppressor is it keeps you off the overhead map in the upper left hand corner whenever you're firing the gun. But you sure trade off a lot of damage or stopping power as you can see right here. In this opening sequence I've blown through a lot of ammo, only managed to take out one guy and right here K-Man Rocks manages to take me down. Funny thing using an MP40 without a suppressor. I'm back in the game, still using the suppressor. I uh, managed to actually get a shot down on Let Me Roll. And then right here on the ground, <laughs> run across a, an MP40 with aperture sight. So now I kind of got the dilemma. I want to use with the aperture sight or the suppressor. Go back and forth a bit and then ultimately pick the suppressor again. Still trying to figure out if this is working for me or not. My goal right here is to get dogs if I possibly can. Funny thing, I got K-Man Rocks coming past me again. Obviously the suppressor just is not cutting it through the through that fence. And so I switched the aperture sight, uh, tried to catch him going around the corner, wound him yet another time, finally have to take him down with a knife. For me, the Thompson, the MP40, and the Type 100 all play about the same. Use the same perks, the same accessories on, on all three guns, and do reasonably well with all three of them. But a little more trouble with the PPSH. The high rate of fire burns through ammo a lot faster than I would like, and the reload time is also a bit longer than I'd like, so I just don't seem to do quite as well with that. Still working on it, uh, trying to put up a video with the PPSH as soon as I can. I'm also playing with rifles like the M1 and the SVT-40, and hope to post some team deathmatch videos with those guns sometime within the next couple of weeks. We're finally back to some action in the game. Managed to take out Jose Fresca here for my third kill. And for everybody who wants to see some real noob shooting with the MP40, watch this hip shooting sequence where I take out up pleas and just a volley of lead. That's the kind of shooting that uh, really earns the MP40 a great reputation. Watch for the grenade that almost hits me in the head right after I take out Let Me Roll and then pop up on these sandbags. Comes whizzing past right there at the left side of my head. And a lot of people ask why I reload so often, and that's the reason right there. Master P454 demonstrates what happens when you run out of ammo in the middle of a fight. Fierce Tank manages to call in an airstrike right here, so I'm just going to sit out the action. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not having much luck with my airstrikes in Team Deathmatch. It seems like no matter where I put the airstrike, the other team basically either runs out and no longer spawns in the area. Right now my strategy is really just place it on the map and then run to the areas around the airstrike because I know basically the guys are going to be running out of that area. If you're paying attention to the game, you notice I've been playing hide and seek with Let Me Roll. Managed to come from behind and get him for the seventh kill, which gives me dogs. It seems like people have gotten really good at killing off the dogs now, and so the basic tactic with dogs is to follow them around the map because they're headed straight to the players on the other team and then kill off the other guys before they get a chance to kill your dogs. The action picks up now as I get near the other team's spawn. Right now you're going to see K-Man Rocks comes running around this corner. Demonstrates one of the reasons you don't want to spend a lot of time running when you're playing team deathmatch. You're really at a disadvantage when it comes to your time to aim and fire on the enemy. You know, it's Big Measy uh, sitting there on his butt with last stand. You'll see that a few more times before this kill streak's over. Now there he is again. K-Man Rocks went down to the left. These two are really determined to take me out at this point. Now there goes Big Measy one more time, third time, and then K-Man Rocks finally takes me down. There's just enough time left in this game for one more short kill streak. 
pay attention, you can see some really strange spawning that goes on in Team Deathmatch. Like these two guys, uh, kind of in the middle of our team. They take out Master P454. Uh, and then head over here to the left side, you see another guy, uh, kind of in the middle of our team, planting a mine. He gets taken out by a teammate. And right now, I'm probably going to get one of the luckiest shots you can have. Notice up here, used up some of my ammo, and then Master P454 goes across again, and I take him out with the last bullet in my clip. I'm glad Biggie Smalls had called in a recon plane before me. Gives me a chance to see that Blue Knight's coming down from on top of the stairs and take him out as I'm crossing over. Not sure how, actually how he got up there, uh, but pay attention to that because he's coming back for more just at the end of the match. Get one more shot on Jose Fresca for the fifth kill. Not sure what he was doing kneeling down there. Calling the airstrike back in that far corner, hoping to catch him spawning. Right now you're actually watching the last kill of the game. That's our friend Big Measy of Last Stand fame. Right there I get him, just don't know it yet. And Blue Knight comes from behind and takes me out. Not actually sure how he ended up there if he spawned in. We had a lot of teammates covering that side of the map. Anyway, my airstrike comes in, gets next to the last kill, Jose Fresca uh, spawned in under the airstrike. And as we're looking around, trying to get a beat on where the other players are, I'm going to head over to the right side of the map. And right now you're going to see Big Measy finally actually goes down for real, and that ends the game. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.